Warren, we just kind of went through your fitting right now. We just hit a whole bunch of different shots. Great performance by you. Um, what we look at is mainly these little, we start off with that little wedge shot, right? Sure. We had some good numbers there. These numbers may be a little bit low right now, okay? Um, just because I'm going to kick out some numbers right now really quick here. But when we look at the number in general, let's kick this one out right there because that's going to take the average down. 5,200. Not a bad number. We're looking for a minimum in these short game shots, these 50-yard shots, you know, partial wedges. We're looking for a minimum of 5,500 RPMs, right? That's very flight dependent. Sure. Okay. So you're in that ballpark. I'm really, really fine with that. The Pro V1 and Pro V1 are actually going to perform just about the same there. We're not worried about that, okay? So we're going to take a look at that little six iron there and the driver. Okay, driver a little less important than the six iron. But that six iron, you average about 6,400 RPM. You had one that kind of spiked a little bit. It was probably really, really pure. Maybe cut it a little bit more. A cut is always going to spin a little bit more than a draw. You are a drawer of the golf ball. But those two that you really, really pured were on the money at 6,000 RPM. And that's exactly what we're looking for in a six iron. We're always going to multiply an iron times about 1,000 RPM. Minus your three and four iron and minus your nine and nine and pitching wedge because of three and four iron. Wider trajectory. We want a while a little more spin to get that golf ball to stop a little quicker. Sure. Right? That nine and pitching wedge, a little bit higher flight, a little less spin because we don't want that golf ball sucking off the green. Okay? And with the driver, okay, those numbers are perfect. We're always looking for that 12 to 14 launch, 2400 to 2700 spin. You're right in that ballpark with that 13 and 24. So, right now we probably lean towards the golf ball you're playing right now, confirm that you're playing the right golf ball, that Pro V1, okay? I don't see any benefit to the Pro V1X helping you because, hey, listen, if I give you the Pro V1X with that perfect spin in, in the six iron, we're gonna lose a, little, lose a little performance out of the ball in the driver and the six iron. So, that's the reason why. No reason to think about the velocity or any of the lower side balls either? No. I'm not gonna all, gain anything no, from that? All golf balls are going to travel about the same, about, uh, the same distance. 255 feet per second is a, is, a, is a magical number that the USGA is testing all golf balls. Nobody can exceed that number. So if that's the number, how can anybody make the golf ball go any further? It's all about spin. Okay.